Hey, what's up everybody? How are you doing today? My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, what I have for you is a review video on some products from a brand called InnoGear. So if you look right here, I have two boxes on my desk. InnoGear actually sent me these for free so that I could review them, give you guys my opinion on them. I have zero experience with this company and their products, so I really have no idea what to expect. But I believe what should be in here is this InnoGear USB microphone set. I have it up on my computer right now, I'll put it up on the screen. It goes for $45.99 and comes with free shipping. I'll go ahead and have the link for this microphone kit down in the description below in case you wanna check it out for yourself. So I think both of these boxes go together because I received them, I believe I received them the same day, but I'm not 100% sure. But as usual, I'll be doing a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration, followed by a review. And if at any point, if you decide that you like this video or if this video helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, I upload new microphone reviews every Monday. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notifications button and let's go ahead and get right into this. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at everything that came inside the box. Um, So it looks like this box over here, that's actually gonna be for another video. So we're going to ignore that for now and just focus on this mic kit right here. So at this point, I have reviewed many microphone kits that look a lot like this. A lot of the hardware looks very similar to other microphone kits that I have tested out. Whether the hardware is the same exact hardware, I'm not sure. All that I do know is that they do look very similar. First right here, we have a double screened pop filter over here we have the clamp that will clamp onto your desk, which you will stick your arm stand into, and that will hold up the arm stand. Over here, we have this little wind muff clown nose type deal. Right here, we have one of those shock mounts that acts like a clamp. You open it up and put the microphone right in there. We have the actual microphone itself. And just by feeling it, guys, it feels like it's got a decent amount of weight to it. I don't know how much there is to be said about this, but just from feeling it, I feel like it's going to be a good microphone. But of course, we're going to have to test it out and see how it sounds for sure. I just want to point out really quick, you see that symbol on the front of the microphone? That little circle thing with that little like angle in it? That is the symbol for the cardioid pickup pattern. Um, all that means is that the microphone is going to be picking up audio from the front right here, at least mostly from the front. And then over here we have some Velcros for your cable management and then right here we have the USB cable. Oh by the way, this is a USB microphone. I don't know if I've said that already. You'll plug the cable right in there. And then of course we have the user manual right there. So next I'm just going to go ahead and set this microphone up right here on my desk and then we're going to test it out. All right guys, so as you can see, the microphone is now set up. I have it plugged into my computer. I'm going to be recording directly to Logic Pro and we are going to test out the audio. So when I switch over to this microphone right here, you will be hearing the direct audio from this microphone. There will be no post-processing. It's going to be the raw audio from this mic. I'm going to be listening to the audio as well with headphones so I could hear exactly how it sounds as I'm recording this. One thing I just wanted to point out is that you might've noticed this. There's a little green light inside the microphone, which I think is pretty interesting. And just really quick, before I switch over to this microphone, just keep the price in mind. Once again, the price is $45.99. One of the things that I like to listen for, I guess, or I guess I'm not really listening for it, I'm kind of just listening and deciding. I like to decide whether the microphone is worth the price. $45.99 is a relatively low price for this kind of microphone kit. I believe the Toner and Mono brand microphone kits similar to this one go for around the $70 range right now. So we're talking about a price difference like around $25 or so. So just keep that in mind and let's go ahead and switch over to this microphone right here. 
All right, guys, so the audio that you are now hearing is coming from the InnoGear microphone. And I gotta say, right off the bat, it does sound good, but I just wanna tell you guys, I was just testing the microphone out a second ago, and it did this thing where, because I'm monitoring the audio in my software, sometimes with cheaper USB microphones, I've experienced this problem a couple times where the monitoring becomes really delayed. It's doing it right now. It makes monitoring impossible. You might be able to hear some of the leak from my headphones. And the thing that sucks, guys, is that it's an actual okay sounding mic. Ah, uh, this is just such a bummer, guys. Big disappointment. All right, I'm gonna have to stop. Oh, it, it fixed itself. Okay, is it recording? Check, check. Whoa, guys, that was crazy. I've never experienced that before where it's done the delay thing and then it fixes itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep talking for like another minute or so because for some reason, in my experience when this happens, it's like you'll start, you'll hit record, right? You'll be recording for maybe like 30 seconds or so, 40 seconds, then the delay kicks in. The delay kicks in and then it stays, it stays, it stays. But right now, I guess you guys can't hear, but I can tell you right now, there is like a big, big, Big two second delay right now the delay is non-existent very nice it sounds very good right now the only issue or I guess the thing that I would be nervous about is that like why was it doing that at the beginning why was I getting that huge delay at the beginning that's kind of an issue is that going to be every time I record I want to try something real quick I want to stop recording then I want to start recording again and see if it does the delay all right, guys, this is the second take. Um, so far, so good. No delay yet. I'm just going to keep on talking, wait to see if there's a delay. Um, I'm going to shorten this part of the video for you guys just so that it's not too boring, but I'm going to go ahead and set a timer. Let's set it for like a minute. Of course, I'll shorten this for you guys, but I'm just going to keep talking. Ah, the delay, it hit. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Like, as you guys can see, there's that delay. Ah, oh, man, guys, this sucks. It was going so well, and then it hit me with that delay. Let's see if it fixes itself again. Hello, hello, hello. Am I gonna... Oh, it fixed itself. Okay, guys, so it looks like you can record for, like, however long that was. 30 seconds, whatever. Then the, the delay will kick in. The delay will be there for however long it's there. The delay will go away, and then it'll come back. Let's go ahead and record for another minute straight and see if it does that delay thing again. I mean, guys, when you're experiencing that kind of delay, the only time a microphone like this is going to be useful is if you are not planning on monitoring your audio at all, which for me, like, I just wouldn't be able to use something like that I can't even think of a scenario where that would be okay any scenario where you don't have to be monitoring your audio I guess this microphone would be okay the audio that it is capturing is actually pretty good in my opinion for a $46 microphone I believe it was I believe it was $45.99 I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my volume in the headphones I mean there's a bit of a noise floor but definitely not a big deal at all a very low noise floor like if it wasn't for that delay issue it's delaying again monitoring is pretty difficult right now usually i wouldn't give a microphone like this another chance oh uh, you guys could hear that leak from my headphones but pretty much guys because i think the audio of this microphone is actually decent what i'm going to do is i'm going to email InnoGear. i'm going to let them know about this situation it is possible that i got a, a faulty unit if they send me a new one i'll go ahead and test that one out if i have the same issue with that one then do not buy this microphone guys it's not worth it having that kind of delay when you're monitoring your audio it's it's a huge part of the microphone that's just going to be useless i would not recommend buying this microphone if it has this delay issue so i mean i guess that pretty much wraps up my review guys um there's not a whole lot more i think i need to say the audio is is actually decent. The actual the actual audio of this microphone is decent. I'm still using the audio right now. The audio that you're still hearing is this microphone. It's a decent sounding microphone for a great price, but that delay thing is just a huge deal breaker for me. It's like I I would have no use for a microphone like this personally. So definitely guys, check down in the comments of this video. I'm going to pin a comment with an update with whatever's happening. Are they sending me a new unit? Is that just how this microphone is? I don't know. As it stands right now I'm just going to have to assume that's how this microphone is as of right now I would not recommend this microphone because of that 
if I do get a replacement and it does not have that delay issue, I will let you know down in the comments below. Check that pinned comment. But that's going to be it for right now. Let me know what you guys thought about the audio. I'm curious to know what you guys think. And of course, if you did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that like button. That would help me out tremendously. And if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. I upload new microphone reviews every Monday and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.